Hi, this is Tom from Shot Science. And we have a drill today that we want to take and pass on to you that we think is really important in player development. It's called a Mikan drill. And the drill was actually named after a very famous um, uh, professional player and college player uh, by the name of George Mikan, who played in the 40s and 50s and dominated basketball, both on the college level and the uh, professional level. George Mikan was uh, uh, the first true big man. Uh, he was 6'10", about 245 pounds, and decided today by uh, many pro players who play the post because he kind of set the standard. He was a great rebounder. He was a great shot blocker. He was ambidextrous uh, with hook shots that nobody could really do anything about. And he actually cultured the skills uh, in what is called the Mike and Drill. When he was a young player out of high school, he went to uh, DePaul University, and there uh, he played for Ray Myers. And he was a very clumsy, uh, not very athletic player, and Myers uh, worked with him um, at great lengths to help him improve. And one of the things that they did was the Mike and Drill. And as a result of that, um, he became one of the most dominating players in early years of the NBA. The Mike and Drill, we think, really is good for every player, not just big players. We want to make sure that our big men, our post players, our uh, perimeter players, all uh, experience and work on the uh, Mike and Drill. One of the reasons we think that it really teaches you how to finish around the basket and how to finish with both hands. There's a lot of emphasis these days in basketball on attacking the basket off the dribble. And uh, when you get there, you have to be able to finish that shot. So it's important that you be able to finish with the right and the left. The other thing that's really important here is, is the footwork of this drill. Um, the drill is, is started by a player starting right in front of the basket, about three or four feet in front, and you can step right or you can step left, but if you're going to take a step to the right, we use a cross step. The cross step's really important here in not having to dribble the basketball and not getting a travel when we are moving toward this shot. And so we step first with our left foot, and then we take and bring our knee up like a lay-in, and it's just a little short hook that we are shooting. And the thing that's important is, where are we shooting it to? Well, the target for this particular shot is the upper corner of the target box. And that's the same as it is for lay-ins. Uh, and then after you put the ball in the basket, you take the ball out of the basket as high as possible. And without stopping, you make a cross step to the opposite side of the basket and lay it up with the left hand using the same footwork and putting the ball in the upper corner of the target box. And you continue this sequence from right to left, right to left. These little short shots are just little hook shots, making sure that you get your hand behind the direction of the shot. Uh, we could call that just a little mini hook if you want. Uh, when we take the ball out of the net, we want to take and keep the ball high. And this is particularly important for big men because when you catch a rebound uh, and you bring the ball down, uh, smaller, quicker players oftentimes get their hands on the basketball and either knock it out or take it away from you. So you keep the hands very high. Well, the one thing that we want to take and share with you today is that George Mikan had a great influence on basketball, the way it's played today. And we think the Mikan drill also has a significant uh, important place in basketball today for all players, not just big players. And so uh, we want to take and, and have you uh, think about that and work on it. It will really help your game. And finally, please remember to comment, rate, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. Stay tuned. Um, started hate me at, at DePaul University.
with the opposite side of the arc. Without stopping, you make a... Um, okay, I'm going to stop for a second. One of the important things about this... Moving into this shot. Okay. Okay, now let's...